Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Y'all know uh, another one of my sponsors here, Formula L Biscuit Mix. And I did a video a few weeks ago, or maybe a few months ago, that this is actually the best biscuit mix on the market. And I'm on uh, link of, uh, I'll link the description. I'll link the video at the end of this one, where I did a video on it, I'm telling y'all, it is nice, fluffy, absolutely amazing biscuit mix. But I was telling y'all when I made that, they also can make pancakes out of this. And I told y'all I was going to do a pancake video. And y'all say, yeah, we'd like to see a pancake video. And they got a recipe on the side of the bag here for pancakes. It's two cups of the biscuit mixes I got here. One and one fourth cup of regular milk. Uh, how much sugar is this? A tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla on the bag here. So I'm going to go right by the recipe on the bag. And uh, we're going to see how this turns out. So according to directions, like I said, this is two cups of the biscuit mix right here. And this biscuit mix, like I said, has dehydrated butter chips in there. It's amazing biscuit mix. I just cannot fathom how good this biscuit mix is. All you do in the recipe to when you make biscuits, just add buttermilk and the mix. Absolutely amazing. But anyway, it say add the sugar to the dry and mix it up. I'm going to use a spoon with this. Then it say add the milk. I'm going to add the vanilla. I'm going to add the vanilla to the milk. And it say add the milk to the, and the vanilla to the dry and mix it up. And that's what we're going to do. We gonna see how this turns out, y'all. It says it's gonna be a little lumpy, like most pancake mixes is. Most of them just a little lumpy. That's normal. We gonna mix this up, and like y'all pancake mix, y'all I like to let it set up about ten minutes or so. Look a little, a little thinner than most pancake mix. I guess as it sits up, it'll kind of thicken up. But that's it, y'all. Like I said, it'll be a little lumpy, as they say. It's definitely a little lumpy. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to set this up here. Let it set about 10 minutes. And come back. I got my skillet. I'm going to just do it in the skillet. I ain't going to set get my griddle out. And we're going to uh, come back, and we're going to see how good this pancake mix made out of Formula L Complete Biscuit Mix. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, I'll let this sit up here, and it did thicken up some, y'all, so I guess it know what it's doing. So, we're going to move over here to my skillet. Skillet here, and we're going to uh, get these pancakes. Like I said, I'm going to just do them right in the skillet, y'all. Do it right in the skillet here. And we're going to see. I'm going to do one at a time in my skillet. Like I said, I never made pancakes out of biscuit mix y'all <laughs> especially this one so we're gonna see what happens here how fluffy they is how thick they gonna be how tender they gonna be so yeah and also on here it says it makes a cobbler maybe i'm how to make a cobbler one day on here you can make cheddar chop cheddar drop biscuits on here so you can make two or three different things on here. So let me look up here. Well, usually when it bubbles up, that means it's time to flip, y'all. Time to flip over. On that first pancake, always a tricky one, y'all. Always a tricky one. Okay, let's see if we can. Flip this bad boy over. Here we go. Nice looking pancake. Nice and golden brown. Not bad. But the real test is how it tastes, right? The real test is how it tastes. The real test is how it tastes. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna step off. I'm gonna do about three of these. I'll be back once I get my last one out of here. I'm gonna do about three pancakes. Do a a stack, a stack is three, short stack is two, if y'all didn't know in the food, uh, food, uh, lingo. Somebody on a stack of pancakes, that's three. So 
about all the short stack, that's two. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. All right, this third and final one, y'all, right here. And here's the other two right here. And you know, I put butter between each layer. So yeah. So they looking okay. But it's all in the taste, right? It's all in the taste of the pancake when you're making them. That tells the that really tells the the tale of them. So I'm I'm really excited to try these, y'all. I know it got that butter inside it, and I got butter in between them. So it's gonna be a lot of butter on them. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back for the final taste test. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Put a little bit more of my Miss Butterworth on there, y'all. Make it really, 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 really good. All right, this is a big old plate of goodness right there, ain't it? Look at that. And this probably would make six normal pancakes. I made them Texas size. But I still had, I got this much batter. See that much batter? I could actually make probably two more big ones. I can make five big ones like this. So just kind of give y'all an idea. If you just one person, maybe you do half of uh, of the recipe. So we going in here. A little fluffy there, not cutting too bad. Put a little butter on the first bite here. A little bit more syrup on here. Give y'all a close-up view. See that? All right, y'all. We're going in here. We're going to have to find out. Hmm. Wow, y'all. That's really good. This is really good, y'all. Hmm. Wow. Nice and tender, fluffy, look. I had no idea this is so interchangeable. And I'm curious, mm, if I put buttermilk instead of, as my mama would say, sweet milk, would it even be fluffier? But nothing wrong with the fluffiness it's really good. Hmm. Nice and tender. Your cut. Wow. Is it better than it's better than Krusty's pancake mix? And Krusty make good waffle mix, but their pancake mixes I don't like that well. And this is almost as good as Pioneer, which is my favorite. Hmm. Wow. Not bad at all, y'all. Not bad at all. So anyway, y'all, if you can find the Southern Biscuit Formula L Complete Biscuit Mint, and I did, what, two of the two a month? But you can go online, I think it's expensive online. They say some Walmarts have it, some Kroger's have it, but how you know, you just Google uh, formula L biscuit mint, and I think you put in there the location or whatever, your zip code or address or whatever, you know, tell you what it, if it's in your area and what vicinity. But it's really good. I know the biscuits are second to none biscuit mix made from here. So, anyway, let me call this way. I'm gonna finish all these off. It's that good, y'all. So, anyway, let me call this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media channel, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023? Just show some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.